Torque. It's a word we often hear associated with powerful machines, from sports cars to rocket engines. But what exactly is torque? In simple terms, torque is a measure of rotational force. It's the twist that causes an object to rotate. Imagine you're trying to loosen a stubborn bolt. You apply force to your wrench, but the bolt won't budge. What you need is more torque. By using a longer wrench or applying more force, you increase the rotational force and finally loosen the bolt. Torque is a fundamental concept in physics and engineering, playing a crucial role in countless applications. From the simple act of opening a door to the complex mechanisms of a jet engine, torque is the unseen force that makes our world go round. Understanding torque is essential for comprehending how machines operate and how energy is transferred and transformed. So, let's delve deeper into the fascinating world of torque and explore its significance in our everyday lives. From the tools we use daily to the advanced machinery that powers industries, torque is everywhere. It's the hidden force behind the efficiency and functionality of countless devices and systems. To truly grasp the concept of torque, we need to understand how it's measured and why it matters in practical applications. The unit of measurement for torque is the Newton meter, or in some cases, the pound foot. These units help us quantify the twisting force applied. But what do these units represent in real-world scenarios? Torque is calculated using a simple yet powerful formula. Torque equals force times distance. This formula is fundamental in physics and engineering. This formula tells us that torque is directly proportional to both the force applied and the distance from the pivot point, also known as the axis of rotation. The greater the force or the longer the distance, the higher the torque. Think back to our wrench example, which is a common tool used to illustrate this concept. The force you apply to the wrench is multiplied by the length of the wrench, resulting in a greater torque. This is why mechanics often prefer longer wrenches for tough jobs. This is why a longer wrench makes it easier to loosen stubborn bolts. The increased length provides a mechanical advantage. The distance in the torque formula is crucial and cannot be overlooked. It represents the lever arm, which is the perpendicular distance between the line of action of the force and the axis of rotation. This distance is key to understanding torque. The longer the lever arm, the greater the torque produced by a given force. This principle is used in various mechanical applications. Understanding this formula allows us to quantify torque and predict its effects on objects. It helps in designing efficient systems. It's a fundamental principle that engineers and physicists use to design and analyze everything from simple tools to complex machinery. Mastery of torque is essential for innovation and problem solving in engineering. The concept of leverage is intricately linked to torque, a fundamental principle in physics and engineering. Leverage is the mechanical advantage gained by using a lever, a rigid object that pivots around a fixed point called a fulcrum. This simple yet powerful tool has been utilized for centuries. By applying a force to one end of the lever, we can amplify the force exerted on an object at the other end, making it easier to lift or move heavy objects. This amplification of force is possible due to the relationship between torque and leverage, which allows us to perform tasks that would otherwise be impossible. When we apply a force to a lever, we create a torque around the fulcrum. Torque is the rotational equivalent of linear force. The longer the lever arm, the greater the torque generated by a given force. Think of a seesaw, a perfect example of this principle in action. Two people of different weights can balance on a seesaw by adjusting their distances from the fulcrum, demonstrating the balance of forces and torques. The heavier person sits closer to the fulcrum, while the lighter person sits further away, creating a balance. This difference in distance creates a balancing torque, allowing the seesaw to remain in equilibrium, a state where opposing forces are equal. Leverage and torque are fundamental principles that have been used by humans for centuries, from ancient tools to modern machinery. From simple tools like hammers and crowbars to complex machines like cranes and excavators, leverage and torque enable us to move and manipulate objects with greater ease and efficiency, revolutionizing the way we work and build. Torque is the driving force behind your car's ability to accelerate, tow heavy loads, and climb steep hills. It's the rotational force produced by the engine that ultimately propels the vehicle forward. Inside your car's engine, controlled explosions occur within cylinders, 
pushing pistons up and down. These pistons are connected to a crankshaft, which converts the linear motion of the pistons into rotational motion. This rotational motion is the engine's torque output. The torque produced by the engine is then transmitted through the transmission and drivetrain to the wheels. The transmission uses gears to adjust the torque and speed of the engine's output, allowing the car to accelerate, cruise at different speeds and climb hills. A car's torque output is a key factor in its performance. High torque at low engine speeds allows for quick acceleration and effortless towing, while high torque at high engine speeds contributes to high top speeds.